Here are some techniques you can use to come up with consistent relative content for your brand or business. Coming right up. What's up everyone, Sean Azar here, founder of a creative ad agency, Breakthrough Social, and let's talk about how I come up with consistent content for the brands I work with and how you can take that technique and implement it for your brand, business, or personal branding as well. So step one, if you have an audience, if you have a current state of audience, start asking them what type of content that you should be producing that would help them solve a certain problem as long as it aligns to your brand. So meaning, go on Instagram story, ask what does your audience want to see on your feed or what do they want to see on your YouTube channel? You want to engage with your audience such that you're producing content for them that is helping them solve a certain problem. Now, you may not have an audience. I get it, that's fine. Then you need to do your own research. You need to understand what your brand is, your service, what you wanna portray yourself as, as the expert, right? So you need to understand and find out, your research, what are some of the questions people are asking that is a relative to your brand or service. If you have a skincare line, Talk about some of the things people can do to prevent wrinkles or happening at an early stage of life. Talk about the foods they can eat to create glowing skin. You need to find out what people want to hear that again aligns with your brand. All right, the next thing you could do is create informative educational pieces of content. Now I'm gonna show you some examples of what we did with our client, Soto Spa Club. We created content that educated users on their spa services, on ways that they could benefit outside the spa, anything related to health and wellness that would entertain or educate this specific audience and based on their spa interests and their behavior, you have to understand the consumer's mentality of whoever is following this account wants to stay healthy, wants to take care of themselves, wants to feel that, that zen, massage, relaxing mode. So you need to come up with content that is educational, that talks about the services, but also that is relatively outside the spa as well and here example the health benefits of cold plunge which is cold water after sauna so after a heated sauna what's the benefit of jumping into the water some of the benefits include boosts immunity it boosts the blood circulation it helps you relax it fastens soreness recovery closes pores quickly these are the things that people may not have even known and they're like oh wow next time i go to this place when i go to sojo i'm definitely jumping in the cold plunge pool because that's what it does they didn't realize those were the benefits so provide that information if you can by doing research and finding out hey what can this be used for? Or what can your product or service be used for? Get in your consumer's head and try to answer their questions that they may be having. Another example we've done with a previous client, Shop Inspire Me Home Decor, which is a subscription home decor monthly box. We took Farah, who's Inspire Me Home Decor's longer form version of six steps to designing your own living room. This video was three over a little bit over three minutes long on YouTube. And we took that and we shortened it to about two minutes long into two types of posts, square version, such that we were able to create an Instagram and Facebook post by using Instagram's carousel type of features where you can put multiple videos and photos within one post. We also tweaked that video such that we added text to the video such that it gave more context to it. And also we added more of a storyline in addition to taking some of the context out. We just wanted to, this video to get to the point. It was informative enough that we could distribute to their audience, which it did relatively well and it was helpful. So it was Again, taking content out of content and retweaking it so you could distribute it on other types of platforms. This is a technique that you could use as well. Take your longer form versions of content. It could be either a blog article, a longer form video, and you can take shorter versions and create content out of that. I hope that makes sense. I know it was a little tricky there, but with these examples, I hope you could take that and implement that technique as well. Number three is think about relevance and timing. So for instance, in January, Everybody thinks about what healthy eating, detoxing, losing weight, or uh, you know, just something in that context. So we came up with multiple creatives to discuss ways people could start detoxing right away. So right away, we're pushing out content at a relatively time period where people are thinking about that so that it gets more engaged more and hopefully attracts them into the spa itself. So here's an example with a graphic that we made. Six simple ways to detox your body. Swipe left, drink lots of water, sweat it out in the sauna, eat more raw vegetables. 
get my point. We also done it with a video with one of their spa treatments, which helps uh, detoxing as well. We created a video on it, distributed on Facebook, and pushed a campaign on it, and got a relatively a good amount of web clicks, which led to spa reservations as well. So again, think about timing. When you think about timing, you need to understand where your audience is, what your audience is thinking about at that certain point of uh, time, and how you could take that type of information and push content based on what you know about your audience. So again, you have to understand who your audience is for you to understand their timing and what they're actually feeling at that certain point. And lastly, I may have touched up on this already, but is find what people are searching for. A good way of doing that is going on Google and seeing what people are talking about the most. So see what people are writing about, Look on YouTube, what are people pushing videos on? Sometimes, hey, look, if you know there's something that's being talked about that needs to be talked about and there's no content on it, that's actually a good sign. You found something that no one's talking about, but you know it's very important and needs to be searched for because you, for instance, may have been searching for it, but you figured out a solution, but there's no content on it, so you need to create that piece of information. And that's about it, so let's do a recap. Number one, ask questions. Ask your audience what they want to hear. Number two, create informative educational pieces of content. Relevance and timing. Understanding your audience's state of mind is very important. And lastly, look what create content based on what people are searching for. So hope you like this piece of content. Hit the like button if you did, because again, it helps me create more videos like this. And hopefully it does help you as well. Subscribe for more weekly content and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace. I'll be back in three, four, 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 four